Hello, friends. Back. We're going to be doing another quest today for the main story quest of Skyrim. Today we're going to be doing the Throat of the World. Now, at the end of the last video, I told you guys I was going to go back and upgrade that Blades armor. I did, but I want to enchant it too, because I have that Nightingale armor on and it's awesome. There's a lot of cool stuff. So... I'm not going to wear it until I enchant it, so I need to go mess with enchanting, level it up, and put perk points into it, do all that stuff. So I just, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I really like the armor I'm wearing, so we'll just, we'll just roll with that for now. However, when I got back to, where in the heck am I, River, no, Whiterun, I'm in Whiterun. Courier came up, he gave me this little letter, said it was from a friend, and it gave me this miscellaneous quest. I thought this might be tied into the main quest, but I don't, I don't know. We're not going to do it yet in this video. So I'm, it might be just a complete side quest for the game. I'm, I'm thinking it's a side quest that opens up once you do, what are you do this at? main story quest. You, you know, even if you so, I hate little kids in this game so much. Okay, we're going to go to, we're going to talk to the Greybeards. Or just that specific guy. Once you get her the first time, so much easier. <laughs> and they leave the door open. Oh, maybe I left the door open when I left. Where are they at? How big is this place? Wow, oh, okay. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Yes, for matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand, or who you stand with. Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? I like the Blades. What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Hmm. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Hmm. All right. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. 
He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. Do this. So I have to learn this shout, and nobody knows it. Maybe there's a tomb that has it, because that's where all the other ones are besides the ones they teach me. Alright, where are we where are we going? Going outside? Is that the way? That horrible snowstorm. Why can't I just shimmy up there, huh? They like, they all look the same. Just different beards. Oh, it's awesome. Longer beard, shorter beard. Beard with a knot. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Oh, okay. Are you going to go up there or what? Your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Drop the power. Clear skies will blow away the mist. Okay. Let's learn. Let's switch to that. But only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous. Not to I, I don't worry, bro. Got this. What oh, hurts you? Look! Will it like last for only a matter of time, or is it just gone forever now? Oh, you know what I gotta do? I found a sword last video. And it is a dragon slaying sword, that's for sure. Next are 35 damage to dragons. What? Is it just like really cold up here? I don't... Should I use that shout again? Look! Oh. I was like, why am I getting hurt? Well. Ice Wraith. I got something for you, buddy. I didn't do it. I didn't hold it long enough. trolls yet? Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. 
How did I know that was coming? Oh, I'll bring it. I'm not afraid of you now. Oh, it's a little tougher. Nah, I tear frost patrols up. Now. Give me that troll fat. So if there's a storm, can I use this to just make it go away? <laughs> oh, you know what, guys? I forgot. I can't make videos this early. Because the stupid, stupid sunlight comes in, messes up the green screen. Oh, uh, if it looks blue over there, I... Dang it. Sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. I, wanted, I was just thinking, nothing like, nothing like some Skyrim in the morning. of the world. Oh. Wait, what? What? No. Hold up. Hold on. He's the leader of the... Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenac. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? They see me as master, Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. The word calls you. Go to it. Okay. Can you just teach me the whole vocabulary so I don't have to go, you know, do that? I can breathe fire now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, guys. I kill him. I'm supposed to kill dragons. Not until introduction. So I have to breathe the fire. I have to use it on him. Okay. I'll come. Bleat. Zin, no. Ave, test oh, uh -huh. that was really weak. Yes, Sosedo Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind.
Do I grow up to be a dragon? So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Wait, I thought dragons were the enemy. What? I want to... Ah. I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Hmm, yes. They are very protective of me. Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts okay that makes you not helpful at all Drem, all in good time first a question for you why do you want to learn this thum yes alduin zembach the elder brother Gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Uh... Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Okay. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. <laughs> do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? And so, perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled, who can say? Desmot Mahus, even to the Dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail with good reason, Rachmul. Why did he say? And he is no fool, ni me. Rinik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Mm, 
Yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Oh, yeah. An Elder Scroll. Go find one. Mm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelle, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofar Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. This guy is the freaking dragon version of Yoda. Has to make everything more complicated. Just tell me what I want to know. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to... Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna go back in time now? Okay. Okay, time out, time out, time out. So, last couple of videos I've been saying that I just not really, not really pulled in. This, this isn't really, I mean, I'm, I'm about halfway, I'm more than halfway done now. Technically, there's 18 quests in this storyline, and this is quest uh, 10 or 11? Actually, this is quest 11. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go back. Okay, that's cool. That's, yeah, yeah. Now I'm pumped. I want to. I want to go back in time to the ancient Nords and did. Cool. Okay. Let's, let's bring it. Bring bring it down. Bring it down a notch here. We'll. Uh... Krosis. No, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Mm. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. Okay. That's optional. Mm. 
I don't care about asking many of those questions. Dremulok, greetings. No, I don't. I'm done talking. Lok Thum. Goodbye. Okay. So we we just finished uh, the throat of the world. Yeah. Learn the location. I get that, but it's optional to go talk to the guy at the. Oh no, that's that's the graybeard guy, right? Right. Right. Where else would I go? Where's the? I don't see the map marker. Oh, back down here. Where's the big marker? Where's the? Uh... I mean, I guess I'll just go talk to him. I mean, I'm already here. Okay. We will do that next video, though, of course. Uh, that was the throat of the world. Next time we're doing Elder Knowledge. Thank you for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Goodbye.